Okay, so today we are talking about how to read listings, current listings, and ones that have already sold. And what I like to do when I'm researching, uh, you know, the the 10s and 9s theory, I don't know if it's a continuation video of that. But when I'm researching, I like to look at the most recent ones that were sold, depending on what, what time of year it is, the past month, the past few months. Right now, what I've been doing is look at the number of sold products in the past few months since the beginning of the year, since January. So you're looking at, if I'm looking at a card that sold, you can't just look at the, the green and say, oh, this sold for 450 or this sold for 340 You have to see what type of sale it was. Was it a buy it now or was it a best offer or was it an auction? Now, the best offers are the, the hardest to read because it could say, you know, five hundred dollars or best offer, and, and then maybe they got it for a hundred, hundred fifty bucks. I I don't know. I um, the buy it now is usually pretty self explanatory, uh, and then you could go and check after you search the item, you you click on the uh, the three bars over there, and you go down to sold items or completed items, and you'll be able to see. And then what you're going to look at is after it was sold, you're gonna you're gonna click on it, and you're gonna look at. Uh, basically who bid on it so you're gonna go down underneath where it says watch you're gonna scroll it says okay here's the bidders here's the number of bids and uh, you click on it and you get to see okay so progression progression and for the auction if it was let's say the final sales price was $71 and you look at the last I, I, I feel like it's a strong number if three people were bidding around that 65 to 71 74 dollar range if it's only two people then it's like, okay, there's maybe not as much interest as there would be if, uh, you know, you were to resell that item. Like if let's say you saw a, going back to a Lapras, where you saw it sold, uh, PSA 9 sold for, you know, 140 and you say, okay, two people, you know, one bid 138, the other bid 140. But then that third person only bid 120. Most likely the next time you list it, or the next time anyone lists it, that price is probably only going to get 120, 125, somewhere around there. Now, it also depends what country these people are in. I've noticed that in Australia, you see that th these items will carry a premium because Australia will charge you like 20 something dollars to, to ship, which is okay, fair enough, you know, if you're in the US. But a lot of people in Australia that want the English cards. They'll pay a premium for that card and that auction that's in Australia so they don't have to pay the shipping. Uh, it's kind of like when you see an item like, oh, this is this is $50 with, with $4 shipping. I, I don't know if I could do that. But then you see it, $52 free shipping. Oh, I'll do that all day or, or something similar to that. But what I was trying to uh, get back to my other point is that if I see three bids that are around the final bid, okay, I'm comfortable with putting the next one out there. And if you're looking at cards, and it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be PSA 9, it could be PSA 10, whatever it is. Um, and, and that's what I look for. I look for that, take the averages, uh, the buy it now. So you can go to Pokemon Price, PokemonPrice.com has a, uh, you can look up all the sets and everything. And then what I look for is how many are listed currently. So if I see like, a Machamp, like going back to what I was saying the other day, the Machamp or the Laprises I saw, you know, 16 times, the 10 was 16 times what the 9 was. But inversely to that, I've been seeing, I saw a PSA 9 Machamp, a Giovanni's Machamp, first edition PSA 9, hollow, the 9 sold for like 71 or $74. And two people were bidding on that. One was 71, one was 74. But the 10s, we're going for like 130 140 so i saw two of them on on ebay for 150 or best offer so i'm thinking even if i buy these now i'm still getting something that is is less than two times what the nines were so again take my formula from the other day where i was saying okay if something is selling for if a 10 is selling for 16 times what the nine is that nine's got room to grow Again, reverse that logic, reverse that formula. If a 10 is only selling for two times what the 9 is, buy the beep out of it. I'm trying to... Also, I'm getting a Patreon. I got a Patreon, so I'm trying not to curse, trying to do it. 
I'll be completely uncensored uh, in Patreon if anyone wants to do that. But that's what I'm doing. Uh, I went and I messaged him, you know, best offer, like, you know, 105, 110, seeing what they'd counter with. Um, 120, both of them. So, boom, I bought them. I paid less than two times what the nine was for a 10. And I, pff, I'll i do that all day. If there's a third one, I'll buy a third one. Uh, so that's what I've been doing. Um, and, and that's the basic research of what I'm doing. Again, so since I mentioned Patreon, uh, I have one now. There's, there's three different tiers right now. Uh, and again, mostly what I'm talking about is Gym Challenge here. Uh, I specialize in that, but Watsi at large, Pokemon at large. Uh, the Patreon is AMA. Ask me anything. No holds barred. Doesn't matter. Completely uncensored. The three different tiers right now is just if you want to uh, just donate like a, a dollar a month just to support the channel, support me, and maybe I'll get a computer so my videos don't look like poop <laughs> on my cell phone. You're more than welcome to. Uh, I, every dollar counts for a uh, you know five dollar tier. Uh, it's you'll get the exclusive content uh ask me anything and all that and the uh ten dollars pretty much all that and, and again you can read it on the on the patreon it might look a little messed up this is like the first time ever i've ever done it uh ten dollars basically just get a shout out like hey thanks boom, 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 boom and i'll read off a list of names or i can put it in like a screenshot at the end of these videos if i ever get a computer um but that's uh the goal right now just to be able to help get some extra money to try to really grow the grow the pokemon hobby at large not not just my own i mean in, in general uh just grow pokemon because we, we all love it and i feel bad for people that that don't like it because it's a very cool very interesting and fun you know bring together aspect and a lot of my friends have uh, i've made from pokemon i in case i hadn't shown anyone got a pokeball the donkey kong i got like a, years later that was a different thing but um Anyway, I've rambled on. I ramble on for way too long. Sorry about that. Um, Patreon, I'm going to try and make a video at least once a month exclusively uh, for for them. And, and Any questions, I'll do that. I'll, I'm going to try to mirror what SM Pratt does. Uh, he is pretty much the prince of Pokemon. If no one knows who he is, I'll, I'll put some type of link in the description as well as my Patreon as well. And let me know if you guys have any questions. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.